Hey there, my YouTube brothers and sisters. I'm Rod. And I'm Papa Ron. And he's Papa Ron. Hey, hey guess hey, what? Hey, we hey, got some things we're going to be talking about a lot. What, what, did you just get back from Hawaii? What, what, what's the like deal you? with your shirt? I went, no, I just wanted to bring some color in. It's starting to be springtime. Hey, hey. I'm getting ready to go to the Caribbean. I threw my Hawaiian shirts out back in the 80s, man. It's, it's over. Well, you know, that's the reason why I'm called T.A. <laughs> that's right. That's right. I don't throw nothing out. <laughs> so what were you saying? <laughs> oh, I was going to say, we have some pretty good stuff to talk about today, Ron. We, we got, got some... Uh, some stuff about pollinate, about pollinates and about... The top five crypto things in Japan about the liquidity of of XRP and XRP in general, you know. And I and I know we've had some comments on there. Everybody's always talking about XRP. We had enough of it. But you know what? There's so much new stuff coming out, Ron. I think we need to talk about it. What? There's there's articles hitting every day, it seems. And to me, this these articles, some of them just validate why we're into XRP and Ripple. I mean, they give us substance of why they're on the move. I mean, the market yeah. cap, they dropped today, though. I think they went back down to about 32 cents. I don't know where they're at right now. Maybe I you could look that up real quick, Rod. Can you pull up a tab on that? Sure, I can. Or not. Yeah, but I while can. you're doing that, one of the big announcements that started today was Ledger on their little Nano S and their something blue... <laughs> Both have apps now that you can download Ripple onto those hard wallets. And I have the Nano S, so I uh, obviously downloaded the the yeah, app for it, that. And that yeah, is really interesting. Well, no, it's, it came real quick. So that started today. And you can just go to your, uh, I don't know if you can find it yet in the Google Store or App Store. But uh, I think I just found mine in an article and downloaded it, and I'm up and running with it. Oh, well, that's cool. Did you find the market then yet, Brad? I did. Or... It's 30. It's down to 30 cents. Yeah, so it's dropping because it was what? It was up to about 42 there for a while. Uh, yeah, but, you know, it, what goes up has got to come down. Well, you know, we've look, always said that. Look but at you know, Bitcoin. Thing, you, you, but you know what? The, these coins are round. You know what that means? They bounce right back up. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's the way I look at it. <laughs> well, I'm in it for the long haul. I don't go on this. Switch and trade and buy and sell. I just, I just can't do it. I can't keep up with it. It moves too fast for me. Yeah, I'm with you. But Bitcoin's huge. It's, it's tapping almost two thousand dollars right now. Right before we got on, I think it was about nineteen seventy or something. But uh, things are moving. Anyway, what we want to do is we kind of got to go over some articles real quick that we found interesting. Some of these came out yesterday. Um, so Rod, I'm going to switch over to the articles. The first okay. one's about Polynex, and it's Polynex, not that we're yeah. it's not that we want to give you reasoning why they've been so slow or I think they crashed a few days ago again. What we found interesting in this article is that uh six hundred percent more active traders in two thousand seventeen. Yeah. That, that uh -huh. kind of, awesome. On there's six hundred and forty percent more transactions. Oh, is that that's in the so article? Guys, really? swamped and then yeah. and then on top of that if you if, if you add all the freaking uh uh ddos guy ddos guys and no how, how are you say it d d o s o s which which is all them guys that get on and steal your uh ip address and then keep you off for a certain amount of time so you know that's the reason why they say they're so slow they're having all kinds of freaking trouble but they're, yeah. they're working on it but they are working on it I think, yeah, that's good. And what I got out of the article, too, is that it just shows you that more and more people are discovering this cryptocurrency stuff that, that we're into, and and things are increasing. There's more money coming into it, new money, and it's, uh, it's going to be huge. We're still just talking a fraction of the population of the world that are aware of it. Yeah, I know. But it's growing. Yeah, okay, yeah, now yeah. we're going to... Here's that second article, Rod. It's about... Uh, the top five cryptocurrencies in Japan. Oh, um, that's an interesting article. I thought it was really cool. You want to start with number one or start with number five? 
Uh, number one, obviously, is what is it? Bitcoin, of course. Yeah. Bitcoins are number one currency. It's it's the way it's the way of the world. Bitcoin, but I find it interesting what their number two top five is. Uh, XRP, baby. XRP, that's right. It's coming up and coming up fast. You know, I think they just hit uh, what was it? We're on ten, ten, ten billion. I mean, they're getting ready to surpass Bitcoin as far as. Uh, capitalization right yeah the market cap i think were they were about half of what ripple was and ripple was i think they had dropped below the 50 percent of all the market cap i think they went below and ripple when it was up there at 40 42 cents it was pretty high yeah really of course we all know number three is ethereum and number four we just did a video on uh nem or xrp and they're this, really liking them that, those guys really like them NEM is up to 21 or 22 cents, Rod. Oh, man, that's really up there. Tell you, you better buy some more of that, baby. I think I'm going to have to. I think I am. <laughs> I'm going to have to. That's all there is to it. So anyway, in Japan, Ripple's on the top five. Then if we go to this next article we want to cover real quick, it's the XRP liquidity deepens. And what does that mean, liquidity? Well, it's more liquid. It's more able to uh, be used. You can uh, cash out of it. Ripple is what, like water or what? No. <laughs> oh, hold on, hold on. Where's, where's my dang cursor at? Right. What, what do you mean it's more like water? <laughs> Well, at least I sure am an old geezer. You're still 10 years younger than me, though. <laughs> yeah. But I look about your age. But uh, no, if something's more liquid, it's <laughs> it's more able to turn into it, turn into cash. It's just like a bond. A bond yeah. is liquid, but yet you yeah. still got to go through your broker to put it into... Uh, it takes four or five, maybe even a week or two to get your cash out of it. Um. The yes. more people this article saying, like they have six new exchanges dealing with XRP, the more oh. banks and stuff that use this worldwide, the more liquid it becomes. It's it's more interchangeable, more available, all that stuff. So it actually, it would actually be it'd be more liquid than like Bitcoin or Ethereum, really, huh? Well, so bit, well. In the in the state of what Ripple's being used at cross border transactions, oh, I see. For for banks to be uh, convert from, like you said last time, from Canada Canadian coin to the Japanese, right, Ian? Yeah, and they that process can be done in in probably eight seconds. Know, well, yeah, it, just under, you know, a couple minutes, you'd have Canadian dollars turned into Japanese yen. Yeah. And that's liquid. And Bitcoin is liquid, too, but it's still a process. You still got to get that Bitcoin over to an exchange like Coinbase and turn it into U.S. dollars. And if you're yeah. going to have it sent to your bank, it'll take maybe up to five days. So, yeah, this the more people that take XRP on, the more banks... The, the easier it'll be used worldwide. And so, and interesting in this article too, though, Rod. Yeah. I think it said in here, oh no, maybe it was this last article we're going to talk on. Yeah. So that, that was a good article. And folks, we're going to have all these articles in the description box below. Uh, some of these you ought to really look at. There's some interesting stuff in them, especially this last one. I'm going to go over to that, Rod, right now. Um, XRP is more stable than you think. Yeah, this was really good because there's been some sure. trash talk out there yeah, about the yeah about how XRP, you know. Uh, but this guy goes through nuts and bolts of why this thing is really stable and, and on the go. Matter of fact, we don't want to read this whole article, but there was a couple things we wanted to point out in it. Here's one title of it. Will XRP volatility scare off banks from using it? He kind of goes through that and why that's not the case. Um, here's an interesting point. These regulators are pushing yeah. for banks. That was really interesting. I really liked or enjoyed that. To adopt it, yeah. Yeah, I mean, so they're you, pushing to adopt it. 
So yeah, it's not just the banks deciding when they have a Ripple rep come in to try to convert them to using their blockchain. We actually have governments and regulators over the banking industry pushing these banks to adopt Ripple's blockchain and and get on board with this XRP stuff. That That's positive. And then down here, I think there was one other paragraph, wasn't there, Rod? Yeah, but the XRP also processes much greater volume. Is that the one you're going for? XRP versus Bitcoin? No. I thought I, that was interesting. Bitcoin can process up to seven transactions per second at the current rate, while XRP today can process over a thousand transactions per second. Yeah. I thought that was no wonder the banks want to go to it. You know, that competes with like Visa card. When you zap your Visa card, it gives you the off, uh, the uh, accepted or I can't think of the term right now. But no, the thing I was looking at was under this long-term vision. Um, it says here, consider this. If you think XRP is an over-inflated market cap, the global foreign exchange market does $5.7 trillion per day in oh transactions. My. Oh, my head. That's Rod, we're back on. But that's $5 trillion a day in foreign transfers. And so if you think that Ripple is a uh, um, second rate, second rate, it sure isn't. <laughs> no, it says here the current growth is big, but it's not even a hundredth of what can, what it can become. So they're just barely scratching the surface on the possibilities of XRP being used with all these banks, cross-border trading and all. It, it's going to be huge. Uh no, I want we to get buy more. We better buy more Ripple. That's all I got to say. <laughs> and while it's down in price once right now, bank, once them bank, all them banks catch on to this and start seeing how easier it'll be, oh, god, that thing's gonna go crazy. It seems like it's growing now. Let's let's give our disclaimer here because we are we are Ripple guys, but at the same time, we're still a little concerned about long term. There's just so many things going on in the world with, you know, potential war, economic collapse, all the right. bubbles that are involved. I mean, so we're watching Ripple pretty close. It's We're not saying we're going to be in it for a year or two. We don't know. The economy could change our opinion pretty quick on it. Well, and what, you know, and, and, and like everybody's telling us, you can't put all your eggs in one basket either. You know, I mean, let's face it, you still need to buy your gold and silver and 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 uh, do other things because uh, and and it's it you know to me and, and maybe I'm wrong but to me it's like gambling uh, you don't gamble not unless you're willing to lose the money you're putting in yeah that's absolutely true and I mean and, I, that's the way I that's the way I do it I don't put a whole whole bunch in but I've every little every every payday I get I put a little bit in yeah. you know. You know, that gambling, you, that's a good point because we try to minimize some of our gambling by purchasing insurances. We have car insurance. If we get in a wreck, we've got house insurance in case it burns down, medical. I mean, we try to hedge our bets against catastrophes. But what are we doing to hedge our bets for economic right. problems? I mean, gold, silver, cryptocurrencies. And Rod, you and I had a great discussion today for about an hour about food storage. Don't you yeah. remember? Or have we you did. forgotten? We had a great, great talk about it. Yeah, we talked and, about food storage. And, and Papa Ron has really got a got. He could do a whole YouTube thing on on food storage. This old boy, he ain't no yeah. dummy when it comes to food storage. Well. Anyway, I'm gonna have to have latch on to him because you can tell I like to eat. Yeah, we both do. <laughs> I, uh, I've been storing food for years based on the current events that's coming. But anyway, if there's an interest in something like that, hey, put some comments down there. Maybe we'll do a little blurb on uh, food storage. I, I could talk about that for weeks. Um, yeah. Anyway, that's about all we wanted to share, that XRP so far is still in great shape, even though it's dropped a little bit in the market cap. It's going to go back up from all the things that are going on with it. It is. It really is. Hey, one more comment, Rod. Okay. We made, a little, we made a little YouTube blurb yesterday um, yeah. about this interview we have coming up on the 25th was with Yes for Motivation. Yes, that, is, 
that's going to be a fun interview. Um, yeah. So find that little video. And, on that one too. Okay, that's going to be one of your questions for old Luke. You bet. I'm going to talk to him about it. <laughs> well, hey, looks... YouTubers, we appreciate you watching this, and we really appreciate all your subscribing, and God bless you. Thank you. Good night.